Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this radical rational expression as you can see and we are going to simplify this one. And here's our problem. We got square root of 15 plus square root of 35 plus square root of 21 plus 5. Everything is being divided by square root of 3 plus 2 times square root of 5 plus square root of 7. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on the numerator part only. And here I have just copied it down over here and let's start working on these radicals. Square root of 15 could be written as 3 times 5, isn't it? Plus likewise this could be written as 5 times 7 plus square root of 21 could be written as 3 times 7 and plus 5 could be written as square root of 5 times square root of 5 and these square roots could be written as square root of 3 times square root of 5. I can separate, split them up likewise this is square root of 5 times square root of 7 plus square root of 3 times square root of 7 plus we are going to leave this one as it is square root of 5 times square root of 5 and here I have rearranged these terms I put these one together and these one together so these are over here the first two and then the second two are right up here now let's focus on this first pair we can see that this uh, square root of 3 and square root of 3 is in common so I can factor this square root of 3 outside and inside this parentheses we got square root of 5 plus square root of 7 and in the second pair over here we can see that this square root of 5 is in common in both of these terms so therefore I can factor out square root of 5 outside and then we ended up with the square root of 7 plus square root of 5 and as we can see that these two things are in common so I can factor them out again. So thus we can write square root of 5 plus square root of 7 times square root of 3 plus square root of 5. And here I have just reshuffled them. I put this one first and this one second. Doesn't make any difference. Now let me go ahead and replace this numerator by this one the simplified form we got so let me go ahead and replace that one here I can write equal to the numerator is square root of 3 plus square root of 5 times square root of 5 plus square root of 7 and now let's go ahead and focus on the denominator and here I have just copied it down over here. Let's go ahead and tweak this one. I can write this, leave this one as it is, plus 2 square root of 5 could be written as square root of 5 plus square root of 5 and then square root of 7. I can write also this one as just put a parenthesis over here. So in the denominator I'm going to replace this one by this form over here. Let's go ahead and write it down over here. I can write square root of 3 plus square root of 5 and then in parentheses plus square root of 5 plus square root of 7. So thus we have transformed our this rational expression into this form by just simple manipulation. Now we can see a pattern. Let me go ahead and call this part an A, this part a B, and then this part is once again A, and then plus this part is B again. So thus I can write this one as A times B divided by A plus B, where a is square root of 3 plus square root of 5 and b is square root of 5 plus square root of 
seven. Now let me go ahead and uh, call this fraction x. So x equal to a times b divided by a plus b or if I flip this one over I can write 1 over x could be written as a plus b divided by a b and now let's focus on this right hand side fraction I have just copied it down over here and I can split this one up I can write a over a b plus b over a b and we can say that this a and a is cancels out we got 1 over b plus here b crosses out so we got 1 over a so that means this fraction could be written as 1 over b plus 1 over a so thus we can write this thing as 1 over x equal to I'm going to write this part now 1 over b plus 1 over a and now we know that this b is same as this square root of 5 plus square root of 7 and a is a square root of 3 plus square root of 5 we are going to plug that one back over here in this equation and here's our new equation once we have replaced a and b values let me go ahead and call this equation number one and now let's go ahead and focus on this first fraction we are going to simplify this one and here i have just copied it down over here and now we are going to rationalize this fraction by just simply multiplying and dividing by the conjugate which is square root of 5 minus square root of 7 of this number so let's go ahead and multiply by this conjugate square root of 5 minus square root of 7 divided by square root of 5 minus square root of 7 so this could be written as on the top we are going to multiply so we got square root of 5 minus square root of 7 divided by we are just going to go ahead and multiply these one out so let me just write down square root of 5 plus square root of 7 times square root of 5 minus square root of 7 and now let's focus on this denominator part this one and here I have just copied them down over here and I have used this file method just the double distribution I multiplied this one out as you can see over here and we can see this this square root of 5 times square root of 5 is going to give us 5 these two things they cancel each other out and negative square root of 7 times square root of 7 is going to give us 7 so 5 minus 7 is going to give us negative 2 so therefore this fraction could be written as square root of 5 minus square root of 7 divided by negative 2 and now let me go ahead and show you another method to simplify this denominator by using this uh, a minus b times a plus b equal to a square minus b square formula and here's the justification I have just shown you over here you just go ahead and put down these two and then use this formula so this is going to become square root of 5 and then square minus square root of 7 square this square and square root they undo each other we got 5 minus 7 that's once again is going to give us negative 2 and here in the next step I have just uh, factored out this negative sign outside so we can switch these one around I put down square root of 7 minus square root of 5 divided by negative 2 and now this negative and negative sign they cancel each other out and finally this is our rationalized form as you can see over here and now let's focus on our this second fraction I have just copied it down over here and now let's go ahead and rationalize this one as well by multiplying and dividing by the conjugate and here I have just multiplied out and divided by this conjugate so that I can write as on the top is going to be 
square root of 3 minus square root of 5 divided by at the denominator I'm going to go ahead and multiply them out square root of 3 times square root of 5 times square root of 3 minus square root of 5 and let's focus on this denominator part I have just copied down over here and I have multiplied this one out by using foil method double distribution as you can see over here and here I simplified this thing this and this is gone so this is going to give us 3 minus this part is going to give us 5 3 minus 5 is negative 2 so thus we can write this fraction as square root of 3 minus square root of 5 is going to stay same and the denominator simply 5 to negative 2 and we can also multiply this denominator by using the difference of 2 square formula as well as you can see over here the difference of these two squares when we multiply them that is going to give us once again negative 2 and once again I have just factored out this negative sign outside so we can cancel with this negative sign they are gone and here's our rationalized fraction and here's our next step let's go ahead and replace this fraction by this rationalized form and likewise this fraction by this rationalized form let's go ahead and uh, do that part so 1 over x on the left hand side equal to square root of 7 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and then plus square root of 5 minus square root of 3 divided by 2 as well and now let's focus on these two fractions how to add them I just copied them down over here since we have the same common denominator 2 I can just simply write 2 and I can write square root of 7 minus square root of 5 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 3 the square root of 5 and square root of 5 is gone so we ended up with square root of 7 minus square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore 1 over x could be written as this one the simplified form square root of 7 minus square root of 3 divided by 2 and here I have just copied this one down on this side left hand side since we are running out of space now let me go ahead and flip both side over so this could be written as x over 1 on the left hand side and this will be written as 2 over square root of 7 minus square root of 3 now let's go ahead and rationalize this denominator once again by multiplying and dividing by its conjugate which is square root of 7 plus square root of 3 divided by square root of 7 plus square root of 3 and here in the next step I have multiplied this one with this the top part and this denominator with this part now let's go ahead and simplify this denominator and by using this difference of two square formula our simplified answer turns out to be 4 so we have replaced our this denominator by 4 and now this 2 and 4 could be reduced to 1 over 2 so thus our reduced answer is going to be on the top is going to be square root of 3 I'm going to write it first and then square root of 7 divided by 2 so thus our simplified answer turns out to be square root of 3 plus square root of 7 divided by 2 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye